Ladies and gentlemen, it is myself of the press and Johnny Natrium cuts in. Take off your glasses. Sounds like you say, take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. Welcome, these everyone. Kids fucking, yeah, these kids fucking creep me out. Yeah, I mean, Rugrats. That is all. It is Rugrats. Oh, wait. More cuts in. <laughs> okay. Ready or not, here he comes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ready or not, uh, here I go. <laughs> oh, God. Welcome, everyone. To another part of uh, yeah, I was gonna say Spyro. Jesus, isn't um, this the first part? This is part two, mate. If this was part uh, one, let me tell you, there'd be something wrong. You know, it's got to take until part two for the fuckery to begin, at least. I would say that. And uh, yeah, it is Rugrats again. Now, this challenge here uh, is basically find all the people, right? Like, find all these guys and race them back. Now, Johnny, I don't think you've actually Ape. played this before, have you? Uh, no, I certainly haven't. I, uh, I've seen the, some footage of it, and that kind of, you know, put me off of playing the it. Only, as I said in the last part, the only thing I like about it, and even they managed to make that annoying, but the only good thing about it, I reckon, is the fact that it's, like, a pretty good, like, rendition of, of the house of um you know of the house right. from the series but this challenge here by the way it kind of scares me though this game it's kind of creepy oh, and why the is that because the kids because they're playing with little kids do you have like a, a version to like playing with kids or something no. <laughs> well yeah i'm not like you i don't jump into like the ball pit with uh oh. random oh. kids uh, <laughs> That's a good <laughs> reference. Check out. Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> check out. He, he, look, look, check he, out. Look, Crystal Fisher acting like a Peter. Look, uh, is she pissing in the corner? Oh. <laughs> is it actually a she or a she? That's the she. That's the she. Now, okay. that actually brings up a good point about um, child. Has the other one got pink stuff on as well? Uh, no. Yes, I'm pretty sure. God, fucking go down, you faggot. slow fuck. Wait, faggot. Yeah, that's right, Fraser. I called him a faggot. Uh, now, anyway, uh, sorry. That's, <laughs> that's, that's not in the derogative term like most people use that word and they're so dumb for using it like that. Like, who the fuck? Okay, there we go. We did it. Yep, cutscene. Cool. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Now, I like it how he keeps on saying, this is terrible. It's like he's telling us what this game really is. Terrible. What the hell is he saying? That? He says, he goes, this is terrible. <laughs> and he's even laughing at it. Holy shit, this is terrible. <laughs> it's like, you're playing this game. They can get really messy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no, that's the voice actor. He was supposed to, like, perform these lines, but he was just going, fuck, this is terrible. Yeah. Who wrote this? <laughs> like, who wrote this? Oh, look, wow, the third one. Now, by the way, this game is entirely randomized. Like, I tried it, like, three different times, and they appear in different spots every time. Like, that's a real pain in the ass, I must say. And, in fact, it's the reason why the uh, Al Malloy failed in his speedrun against Mr. Eddie1667 for. Um, oh, yeah. Gotta find Angelica now. All right. Has something to do with randomization or something? Yeah, something like that. It is. It is basically completely randomized. And we got another puzzle piece. That's our fourth, and we get a bonus level mirror land. Now I can't remember the parameters that actually allow one to uh, reach a bonus level. I think it's like ten. I think. Oh, this this jump sucks. Shit. You gotta put uh, five uh, toadstools after one another and jump all of them. Oh god, look at that. She's going to Narnia. Oh. She, it's a he. He, holy shit! The house just turned upside yeah, down. Yeah, this is this is kind of funny in its own right. Um, except it's pretty cool. The problem with it is that it becomes a very tedious, annoying challenge in which you have to find six things of balloons, right, and then just pop them all. You know, like it's just it's yeah, it's shit. Ready? Okay, there's none in here. Gotta find Daddy's See, uh in 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 his bedroom. You gotta find Daddy's condom stuck to the oh. stuck, oh, stuck to the right. ceiling. Oh. 
I, I love it. Like, them. I kind of, I kind of hope that there's like a like an entire like child audience watching this, and they're just like, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, like they're coming. They're what coming is a condom? I gotta have it now. It tastes delicious. <laughs> That's right. You got that right. Every when you pop it, when you pop the bottle, when you pop, when you pop the mummy's, you know, breast milk. Cherry. Right now, uh. oh jeez. All right. So here you go. Watch this, Johnny. What's entertaining gameplay? Right. Look at this. Ready? Oh my god. We gotta okay, collect all these I'll balloons. Okay. I'll just click this away and go watch something else. Okay. See ya. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I just said that entertaining gameplay was something else. That's right. Yeah. What the hell is this? Are those balloons or basketballs? Are they balloons? Balloons, they? yeah. The orange would represent it being a basketball uh, in terms of the color. Now, color if a baby were to... Uh, he really is. There's, there's no surprise that he's the protagonist and sort of the hero of the series because a regular baby, if he popped all these balloons, he would go mental. He yeah. just go fucking he out of his mind. Out. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If, if he pops one balloon, he'd go like, you know. Oh, nice. But uh, this one this one just does not give a fuck. It could also be worrisome because it might mean that he's deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Pickles is deaf. Find out more at 11. Like, <laughs> all right. Now, okay, so I think, I yeah. Actually, actually it creates a pretty cool dynamic when we... Um, go up the stairs and stuff like I'll show you right I think it's up here yeah you'll see this it's I don't know I kind of like this like there's a really cool bit somewhere I can't remember where it is um where you go like up to the attic and I always thought that looked really cool um I don't know it's, it's an interesting challenge but really it's just the problem is is it's just boring you know what I mean that's just the only way of like kind of just that's pretty much the way to describe this game it is boring do you know what I'm saying like that's really the only way of looking at it. Now, um, another thing to note, I reckon, is that um, this is a quite a weird fun fact, but this game was the second most promoted and advertised game, or whatever, second in, largest in campaign... In the history of human... In 1998. Level. Do you know what it was beaten by? Legend Half of life. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Like, the, the only game that was, like, spent more money on advertising and promotion... You must the be joking. Legend of right. Zelda. I am. I am not joking. THQ. The game actually sold 1.5 million copies, uh, which uh, which is not too bad. You know what I mean? Like it's you know. That's it's, that's quite good for the time. Yeah. For its time, yeah. I mean, I think that was as of 03, but like, st I mean, still, still, I got to give them credit where credit's due. Um, but the thing is, it's like they what they what they were trying to do is they were trying to push that like child's initiative, you know, like for kids, like you know what I mean, like oh, look, we, you know, with PlayStation, it's not just for, you know, it's not just for um, you know adults and you know it's for kids as well, you know. Um, I mean, I thought that, like, the PlayStation was marketed for kids oh, to begin with. Ridge, you know, Ridge Racer, Tekken Three, oh you know, what, you know that song? Oh, sorry, that's Ridge, a really Ridge Racer reference. very adult. Oh well, it's it's kind of like I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, you know what, what? You know, Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Um, you know, like I mean, a, I'd argue it's it. fucked up. Now, if there was more stuff in this house, this would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's if the there thing. was actually proper controls and like interesting platforming, but there's no real platforming. No, going this on game there. isn't a platformer in any regard. Like it's, and look, there's all these stupid. I don't even know what these things. Which even is do. a shame because. Because when you turn the environment upside down, that really opens up some interesting stuff for platforming. Usually. Yeah, the Super Mario is it a bit. Um, Galaxy. Yeah, it. I, I, they even did that in Thief, where you have this mansion of this crazy guy who, like, um, uh, you know, he he was the architect of his own house, and he made this um, this these quarters that were just made to look like they were like. Upside down. You know, like upside down, down, yeah. Leaving, <clears throat> leaving you hanging. Yeah, well, if there's anyone that could, could reference Thief in a, in a Rugrats part, I think it's well-deserved because, I mean, anything is better than this, this game. Let's be honest. Like, this LP is like... Well, that makes it sound like Thief is just, you know... Just any game? Anything. Yeah, anything's better. It's like, yeah, it's like Thief? Well. God. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, now, I think, hopefully, hopefully this area isn't randomized either, because I really want to show you the really cool attic, and access probably... Wait, you can like... still go up the stairs? Yeah, because, remember, like, it's like a frame, and you walk up, see, like... Oh, no, not those stairs, right, yeah, no, that wouldn't make any sense. No. Can't you go up then? Uh, that, that, that will make you go downstairs, right? Uh, yeah, we already went down, we already went down, remember? 
So here's the attic. Here's the attic. This is like a really cool thing. I actually do like this a lot. Um, I always liked attics in games. Like it was. I remember in Tomb Raider when you got to the attic, it was it, 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 was, it was always kind of like scary or something in yeah, a way. Yeah. Because you never really visit the attic of your... Well, I, I never used to really visit the attic of my own house, I guess. It, it's kind of the mysterious place in the house. Yeah, it, I, I, we, don't, we don't have an attic, uh, really. So, unfortunately, right. I've never been part of that like history. Like, hey, hey guys, what's up in your attic? It's like, oh yeah, I found some wine bottles and a mystery... Uh, some, uh, some bodies. Yeah, some bodies in the attic. Um, actually, here's something interesting I was just thinking of. Um... What was it again? Now, I think you need to get 15 of those Reptar things to give you an extra puzzle piece. Now, I'm pretty sure I've missed one of those, so that means I'm, like, fucked for the rest of the What the fuck LP. is this father doing up there, though? Or whoever? That looked like a fucking laboratory up there. Uh, no, or some... he's an inventor. Stu Pickles is an inventor. Uh... How could you not he's know He's Jewish, that, right? <laughs> um, I think so. Aren't they supposed to be Jewish? I think they are. I feel like they could be, yeah. Um, let's, see, let's look him up. Now, what second. I'm not feeling, however, is this goddamn yeah. stupid fucking level, which I can't find the last thing in. God, how it's so boring. That's the thing. I know how how bad am I just to bury this LP? But like, God, what the fuck are we doing? Okay. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. <laughs> it's creepy. From 1990. <laughs> Wait, production orig initially halted in 1993 after 65 episodes, blah, 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 blah. from that's, 1995 that's to... Yeah, but then from 1995 to 1996, the only new episodes broadcast were a Rugrats Passover and a Rug Rugrats Hanukkah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Which is like two Jewish holidays. <laughs> so, Jewish agenda. Yeah, yeah. It's like very Jewish, yeah. Okay, oh, what the hell glitch, you piece of shit. Okay, there we go. Um, alright, so, look at that, I'm pretty sure that, I'm not, I'm not gonna do another challenge, I mean, I could, but, nah, screw that shit, I'm not doing it. Alright, get it, why, you stupid fuck! Get it! Sending. There you go. Well, I'm gonna, I said, we'll do it in the next part, cause, you know, I hope fine. you don't shout at your kids like that. Me? Yeah, get it, you stupid fuck, and Get it, you <laughs> stupid fuck. Get the bottle in your mouth, you stupid yeah, fuck! Yeah, you don't have any fucking cookies, you piece of shit. Alright, cutscene. <laughs> it glitched. It, it glitched. And he went. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> um. There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Well, okay. Returning to pickle time. Okay. Uh, so we've actually got a shitload of things already, which is kind of weird because it means we might not even have to even do every challenge. That'd be pretty funny. This is my um, mommy and daddy's room. This we, is my mommy and daddy's room. All right, here we go. Seven voyages. Ooh, don't look Cynthia. in the drawer. Don't look in the drawer. All right. Yeah. Come on, show me. He's getting bumped. Look. All right. Thank you for watching. It's Goodbye. Pretty oh, what? big for a baby. He's he's not bad. He's got a big head. That's for sure. He's got a look at his protruding ass. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I got the booty. I got a share of my nappy, bro. Look at him. Someone should make a video of that, like. Tommy's look, look ass the, shaking and then the music video under it. You know, what's music. it called? Uh, um, go on, make that ass shake. Build a house on top of that ass. That's an ass quake. Put a something on that house. That's an Ooh, ass steak. You right. touch my trailer. Good book. Oh, shit. I just started the next one. Thank you for watching.